Hey, Cancer, what's going on? I hope everything is going well. We're gonna go ahead and hop into your reading. Please like, share, ooh, leave a comment if the message helps, Cancer. All right. Let's see. Shuffle up these cards. And also hit the notifications bell so you get notified for the reading. You may hear a little bit of noise in the background. I do apologize. Um, but that's life. If it bothers you, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. All right, so Cancer. Let's see how you and your person, person on your mind, are moving forward currently. And then we'll talk about what I see happening next. All right, here we go. Cancer. Cancer. How are Cancer and your person moving forward together right now? Self-love. Okay. I am still, I'm still trying to heal. Okay. So something's happened where maybe you and your person felt like you needed a break, okay? In order to take care of yourself, prioritize yourself. Um, this, this can be you for sure, Cancer, all right? Let's, uh, Your person shows up as the raccoon. Uh, this could definitely be an earth earth sign or an air sign, because um, I see the B as well. This is my Aquarius card, so this could absolutely be an Aquarius. Um, it could also be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So, it may seem like your person is not being honest about everything, uh, whether, you know, if you all aren't speaking, this person could be watching you, but they're not communicating to you. If they are communicating with you right now, um, I was about to call you Taurus, Cancer. Um, they're not being completely honest with how they feel, okay? Clarify, um, Cancer. The wolf, yeah. I, the tiger wanted to come out for you. Um, that's my high priestess card too, which is your energy. Um, and the rabbit. You're, uh, you're trying not to, <clears throat> there's a part of you that really wants to, um, Express how you feel, Cancer, but there's another part of you that says don't do that, okay? Like, um, it's like one part of you is this tiger. I, I'm, I'm going to get to the wolf too, but one part of you is this tiger and the other part of you is this rabbit. And the rabbit is uh, a very, a much more... Um, I don't want to say that's your uh, the part of you that worries a lot, okay? And it's like this rabbit is telling the tiger, like, "Oh no, don't do that. That's too much. Don't you know? Um, be careful. All right, there's a part of yourself I feel like you're telling yourself, be careful, okay? Um, but your energy is very intense, which I could see why your person is coming up like. The raccoon, it's like they're feeling like they need to kind of back into a corner a bit because, you know, I mean, um, if a tiger is coming at you, 
you're gonna hide, okay? Um, maybe they're hiding something in your intuition. Like I said, they're hiding something and your intuition is picking up on it, that they're not telling you everything. And I feel like the rabbit side of you is saying, don't do that, don't, you know. Um, maybe there's something about exposing this person cancer, okay? And the other part of you is like, mm-mm. Uh, which I feel is like this self-love energy with the wolf. So the wolf usually shows up when you kind of laid down probably some boundaries here, Cancer, all right, with this person. You've told them, this is how I operate. This is what, you know, this is what I do. A lot of you um, are parents, mothers, fathers, okay? So with the wolf, I am getting that. Like, you're very serious about your responsibilities right now as well. Okay. That's your that's your primary focus. It's yourself and people that are very close to you that you love. Okay. Your children, etc. Okay. Your business. This is actually my Capricorn card, which is your seventh house. So I definitely see you concerned about um, or just prioritizing what matters in life. To you right now and in, in this reality that's what i'm saying okay um okay so you have girl talk i feel like that's you cancer girl talk um moving on happily single okay um Living in the moment, having fun, all right? Time with friends. That makes sense too, because we just had um, Thanksgiving. Okay, so time with friends and family. Um, let's see, clarify. This person. All right, so how this person shows up, you have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. All right, we also have karmic relationship and the grim reaper. know if this person knows this but you you do I feel like that's the tiger part of you you do have um unconditional love for who this is there is a part of you that has that okay I think that they're wanting to receive more from you cancer They're not receiving enough from you right now, but they want to with, with, with this energy. Um, clarify, uh, cancer. Wow, coffin flipped up in reverse. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. I mean, even if there's been an ending with this person, you're not ready to let it go. That That's what I was getting here with kisses. Um, yeah. So, you, you know, you're living in the moment. You're, you're doing what you have to do, Cancer. That's what I'm seeing. However, um, I don't feel like you are fully done with who this is. You're not really ready to um because i think it's your intuition with the tiger your your intuition is actually telling you what this person is hiding your intuition is probably telling you no this person wants to receive love from you this person wants to 
um, be affectionate with you. But there, there's your, your other side, your rabbit side, you know, the realistic side saying, no, you should expect the worst with that. You shouldn't do that. I, I, I would, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't even think about a cancer. There's a side of you that's saying that I wouldn't even think about that. But yeah, I don't, this, I mean, the way that coffin flipped up in reverse, I had to take it like that. Um, I think with this person too, cancer, because you come up as a very dominant energy, um, I think that you, there are certain rules of engagement is what I heard um, that you would like this person to abide by. Which interestingly enough, right, Capricorn, that's a very Capricorn thing to say. Rules of, there are rules here, okay? We have to follow the rules. I think you're also telling yourself that too, like we need to follow the rules. That's what the rabbit's telling you too. We need to follow the rules and the rules are, um, you know, if this person's behaving this way, we need to do this. Um... Let's see, clarify how these two are moving forward together right now. All right, the three of wands. Okay. Oh, man. Um, you know, I am getting like two people genuinely uh, manifesting each other one way or another, you know. Cancer, I think that a part of you is probably, you're not in a place where you fully want to express what you want here with your person, but this is a card of putting it out there to the universe, so to speak, and um, allowing it to come back to you. It's trusting that, you know, hey, I've put in the effort, I've put in, you know, I've done what I, all I can and I'm ready to receive back um, the fruit, the fruits of my labor, waiting for your ships to come in. So this is actually like an anticipation type of energy. Um, I also get like your person as well, Cancer, like they're anticipating like you're the ship coming in to your person. I definitely feel like this person is watching you. That is what I feel like your intuition is picking up on. I think they're at a distance or um, I do get a little bit of a stalkerish energy with this. Okay. Just saying. I got to keep it real. I'm not saying that that's for all of you, but if you know, you know. I think that some of you, though, Cancer, like you started paying, focusing more on yourself. Some of you broke up with who this was, you know, if it's um, or you distance yourself from a friend, family member. You did this, um, you know, to to have a new beginning. You did it because you you probably feel like you need to move on. But um, you're, you're not quite in a place where you've done that yet. OK, so I think that you've also created some distance here between you and this person okay or you could tell me that this person did that with you and kind of um one of you i think is letting this linger is what i'm hearing with the coffin i'm getting like hangman hangman energy one of you is letting this um linger and i don't think you like that okay sorry about that cancer jacks came over here so Queen of Swords is how your person is showing up. Libra energy. Um, this, like I said, could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I feel like your person... Some of you are communicating with who this is, Cancer. And they could be telling you, like... 
hey, this is what I feel is fair. This is what I feel is right, okay? Um, if they're not communicating that with you right now, they, I feel like their intention is to do that, all right? Uh, but yes, for some of you, this person is communicating um, things to you, their thoughts, okay? They're, they're, they're telling you about something. Um, but I think you feel there's more. You're like, there's more to that. There's more than what you're telling me, okay? This person could be um, communicating in a very like, um, they could be being cold, somewhat cold. But then, you know, for you, you're like, no, I don't think so. I don't think that's how you really feel. Um, like you're, you're, yeah. Okay. Hold on. Clarify cancer. The moon. There you are. <laughs> oh, uh, well, you are in your element here cancer in this connection your intuition is very high okay go back to the tiger um with this connection what i'm hearing from you cancer is that you follow you're a very um realistic person okay like you're somebody who definitely um values structure okay um safety okay i'm trying to explain this right that i feel is who you are and how you show up but in this relationship you're very cancer like you're very um imaginative um you're very creative i see you like even like you know sometimes it can be good and bad you know it can be very beautiful like the things that you imagine about this relationship but then it can be very dark okay Um, I also think that you are being quite mysterious. That's so funny. Look. Oh, my God. The wolf. Look. And I'm saying that's so funny because I'm like, there's two sides of you that I'm getting. And one wolf is standing up, right? elevated progressive right progressive thinking realistic thinking the human side right but then look at the animal right i think that that's yes that's the uh that's the animalistic part okay um i think so well it's but okay either either way right it's still what I was getting at was like I was seeing with this person, you do have this very animalistic side. You do have this very imaginative, creative energy with them. You're also very, like I said, mysterious. And I do feel like you sense some sort of ending coming. And I and I think what's going. OK. All right. So and I know I kind of said this. I touched on this already. So you do sense some sort of um, ending coming, right? Um, you don't know it for sure. Some of you want to be very direct with this person and want to speak on what you're feeling. But the rabbit part of you is saying, don't do that. Okay. Um, because maybe they could be sensing to, I think it's your intuition, Cancer, but the rabbit, the part of you that's worried is um, saying, they're worried that, I know it sounds weird the way I'm saying it, but the part of, there's a part of you that worries that you're going to do this and you're wrong, okay? 
like you're acting from a place of fear. Because I do feel like this person is saying something to you, but you're sensing like, mm, you're like, this is not right. And it's really kind of triggered your intuition into overdrive. Um, you are looking towards the future, Cancer. I do see you doing that. Um, because some of you are saying like, I have to, I have to do that. It's a very, like I said, very uh, realistic way of looking at things, looking at your reality for what it is right now. Um, but a part of you is just not done with this yet. You don't have enough clarity. You don't have enough clarity to completely move forward um, because you want the truth. That's what I'm hearing for every one of you. It's gonna be different. The truth is different, okay? Some of you could say your person is being like too diplomatic or playing both sides. I don't think you like that. Okay. Um, all right. So please like, leave a comment, subscribe, Cancer. I really do appreciate it. All right. And hit the notifications bell. Cancer, can you show me how these two are moving forward together next? Universe, Holy Spirit, how are Cancer and their person? How are these two moving forward together next, please? The reveal. Hmm, interesting. I want to tell you the truth. That's both of you. For sure, your person, okay? Soul tie, third party. Um, let's use the tarot. Clarify. Clarify how these two are moving forward together next. Cancer and the person on their mind. Okay. Five of Cups, Nine of Cups, the Moon. So, still in your intuition. Um, But it seems like it's, uh, I think we're going into a full moon. I think we are. Um, in, is it Gemini? Yeah, we're going into a full moon. Enters Taurus at 128. Yeah, so um, there may be some truth revealed, full moon in Gemini, okay? That's when things are really heightened, okay? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue this on Vimeo. The link is below in the description, top of the comments, Cancer. That's where I'm gonna get into what I see happening next, what this person wants overall, what outcome do I get for you two, and um, we're absolutely gonna pull your advice, okay? In terms of how you should be moving forward with this person at this point. All right, Cancer, so. I'll see some of you over on Vimeo. If this is where we part ways, good luck with everything. I hope the reading helps and I'll see you soon. Peace.